This YCN segment is brought to you by H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating, your local energy specialist. Look up, look up. game here is just to play the style of lacrosse we've been playing all season. Our chemistry has been built up. We've all been playing lacrosse since like eighth grade. We've all played together. We've grown up together. We lost a few in, of last year's team, but um, you know we really filled those roles and worked together as a team today, and that's what got us that dub. You can't say enough about our defense. Uh, Alex in goal, best goalie in the division, hands down. And then we got Jerry, defensive player of the year. Hell of a player, and we just got key components, and we just can't be stopped. Being a back-to-back -back champion, it feels a lot like, I, don't, I can't even compare it to anything. I haven't had an experience like this, but it's, just, it's great. Last game, you know, I wouldn't want to play with anyone else. Well, I think that we did a great job going to our goal. We had a certain plan going into today, and I think we really attacked that plan well. We stuck to it. We had, there was an impede when Kiernan had to come out on his broken wrist. So we had to persevere. We had to figure out who we were going to cover, figure it all out. But we adapted OK. I was hoping that they wouldn't score so much, but it was hard because they got number 23 and number 21, both amazing players. I was trying to get on 21 because he's their tall, big guy. So it was tough to get that switch because I'm covering an attackman. I had to get to a midi, so it's sometimes hard. Colby quiet, man. He's such a great player. I hope he goes to Division One college. He, he totally deserves it. He puts in so much work, and I think he's going to do absolutely great things. And Alex Russo, best goalie in the state, best goalie I've seen in my four years of playing. I, I love the guy. He's one of my best friends. All my other defenders, I got to shout out to them. We got Carter Quiet, he's facilitating on offense, and great group of guys. I feel like we deserve it, but at the same time, I feel like we don't. Like, we spend a lot of time in the offseason. We deserve it in that aspect, but I feel like a lot of these other teams are out here working. You know, they deserve it as well. But I, I think we, we did persevere through our tough times, and that's sort of what it all comes down to and everything. I've always wondered that myself. Like, what is it about Hopkinton that makes us such an outstanding program? Like, ever since I was little, we would be winning games against very much bigger schools and bigger towns. And, you know, people say it's something in the water, but I say it's our coaches. And Deacon Blue is the best coach. He's, he's such a good mentor to all of us. Um, I'm going to be playing with him in the Twin State All-Stars game, and I'm going to be so happy to be beside him. And I think it's the coaches. Well, starting off with our great goaltender, Alex Russo, threw his clutch again today. And then on top of that, Jerry shutting down uh, Jacob Steele, number 21 for Laconia. Jerry did a great job, and I mean, we couldn't have asked better from defense. On the offensive end, although they scored the first goal of the game, we uh, kept our heads level. We uh, managed to get a few quickies in, and that second quarter, as usual, was key for us. We have big second quarters this year, I gotta say. And then throughout the game, really just like keeping up the intensity, not losing focus, making sure the sideline was loud. Um, our fans were great, by the way. And just playing our asses off to the last minute. And we got the, we got the dub. Well, I gotta start off with Colby Quiet. I mean, the guy, my brother, is like a crazy goal scorer. I still think he's the best um, offensive player of the year, although he didn't get the award. Um, and then, although he doesn't get as much recognition as he should, Jacob Tomlinson has a ripping shot. And he was clutch again for us today. Duke has been leading our attack the entire year, and we couldn't have asked for a better leader and senior attack than Jacob Tomlinson. Also, Paul Molnar, key in transition. And Aiden Horn, he's a, a new guy for us, stepped on the team just because I asked him to. And he was a great player for the first two games. He's playing football out there for us, but he really became a great uh, brown ball guy for us. He played really well the entire season. Well, as a senior, walking away from the program, people were saying, you know, you're not going to win it again next year. But I was saying, you know, that was exactly what they said to us last year when we lost all that talent. So I think we really have a great program, thanks to our amazing feeder program that we have at Hoppingen. And I think we can keep rolling them out if we keep up the hard work in the offseason and keep in the, the weight room and keep listening to Coach Blue's amazing teachings because that guy knows what he's talking about for sure. It's, it's humbling and it's a great way to go out as a senior. And I can, uh, I'm speaking for all my seniors. We say we want to go out in any other way. So my defense did a great job at everything they did, especially Jerry Donahue. Uh, he locked down on their best midi, and we locked on everything. Uh, they got us a few times, definitely. Uh, we had a few messed up plays, but we came right back and kicked butt. Laconia is a good team. I've seen them before. There's a lot of new things I've seen from them. They had a whole different style of gameplay against us. But I definitely was able to shut them out, you know. It got me a few times, a few lucky ones, a few not lucky ones, a few broken down plays. But they all took a lot of good shots and a few I was able to get off of them. So it feels great back to back, you know. We worked hard both years. Uh, me being a runner up second string last year behind Derek Gameth, you know, it was great to have him in front of me. But I definitely took his power and on it all. And, to get to the ship again. In the beginning, we started off kind of slow, and they got a quick one. But then we scored, and then we started dropping a couple more, 
and we just settled in and got rid of all those nerves. We just played our game and we did what we did best. And the crease was open a lot today. Like guys were cutting. It was so good that I decided to go jump on the crease. So first off, our big man in net, Abon, he kicks butt. He was a wall today, making these insane saves. I, I couldn't even believe. And then it started off with Jerry. I had to cover 21 in the beginning, and he was just smoking me. And then Jerry, we made a switch through Jerry on him. Jerry shut him down. He did a great job on him, and he handled him really perfectly. And we had a lot of switches on midfield. Like, we're getting Aiden in the game a lot more, number four. And he was manhandling 19, I thought, keeping him to the outside. And everyone was stepping up, and it was just great. Last year, I had to take a role of the crease midi and learn how to move amongst the crease and do my thing and try to get open and have quick hands to score. And then this year I became, I, I was putting the role of a Dodger. And today they had two really good defenders on me, so I couldn't really do much on dodging. So I went back to what I learned last year and rolled it on the crease. And I got like three or four goals on the crease, it looked nice. It feels huge. I mean, I, I, I'm lucky, man, I don't, I don't know. It's just huge. Next year, we have a lot of, our defense is going to be strong. Our offense should be strong. We got a lot of good attackmen, a lot of good defenders. We have a new goalie, Penny Madden. He's going to have a huge year, and we should look good. We'll see. I think our guys will be in the gym. I think we'll work out, play some wall ball, and do indoor lacrosse. We should look good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.